Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we have Siege, we have very high G1 Siege. And yeah, this is a very interesting one. And guys, you will see how I lost twice to the same defense. So yeah, for the first one, we are going to Cliff. And yeah, this should not be a problem if we are able to actually outspeed the enemy. We should kill almost everything. Maybe Kaki can survive if he has crazy defense. But then we should be able to take on Kaki 3 on 1 unless he procs a lot and you know, you know how it works. Violent Runes will say if you actually win or lose. And for the second one, we're going to run the usual counter. Guys, I loved using this counter to that defense of of Carcano, Vigor and Triana, because you know sometimes violent runes, as I told you in my first fight, say that you should lose this fight. And when they do, you will lose. If they take three or four turns every turn, then you will lose, guys. There's nothing you can do about it even if you have some reasonable counters like this one. But yeah, this will not be the case, even though Violent Runes will do their best to actually win this. And here is my nemesis, guys. This defense, oh my lord, I had a really bad time. In this fight, it will be, uh, I think, because of RNG. But in the next one, it will completely be my fault. So, guys, I will let you watch how this plays out, actually. Now, I need a strip, and I fail. Then they resist the detrimental effects, of course. And now I decided to go for Keki, which is actually the most logical choice since I want to strip the attack buff. However, there, here comes the first Disperse Ton, perfect. Now I don't get a proc with any of my units, all of them are on Violent Runes, and here I get double stuns. So yeah, I will never get to drop the rock. And you know, sometimes RNG happens. What can you do, guys? What can you do? But this one is on me. Because I thought that with Garro's lead, I could go with Garro and Brock before the enemy moves. And I decided to go for Malite since he reflects damage based on his defense. So I thought that it could be good against the Kinky, actually. So I wanted to get rid of Kaki turn one. Here, if I went with Garo, I could have killed the, the, kinky the Kaki turn 1, but my Garo did not move, so yeah, Kaki is still alive. Of course, my Rogue didn't proc, so yeah, it's fine, and yeah, now I realized that the reflect damage from the Gargoyle will not be enough to do anything against the Kinky. However, Kinky is not on Violent Runes, so my Garo still has a chance if he can actually land a couple stuns. And yeah, and of course, if we were to land a defense rake with a Raug. Now Raug did his thing, perfect, but I didn't land the defense rake, so Raug is dead. And I didn't land the provoke either, but this time around I did land the stun. But it's not enough, guys. It's not enough. And the damage that I deal is not enough to actually bypass the passive of that kinky. So, yeah. And now I failed. 
to actually stun, so I lost. And this one was on me, the team that I chose was not the right one for that defense. Now, against this one, we are going to Cliff, we are going to copper those or this one, and yeah. I will copper the Chandra, then I will bulldoze the Jan, and then I will pray for the Perna not to take a million turns. And you know, I, I hope to be able to kill Perna 3 on 1. And for this one, since there are no strippers, I will go for the Katarina and Bale team. I will go for Lulu, turn one, and then I will let Bale kill the other two, if things go well. If they don't go well, well, if the, <laughs> if the Tyrannis does actually take a turn after my Katarina and before my Bale, then things will be kind of complicated. But I don't think that will happen. So I decided to go with this team anyways, and that was a very nice revenge from Katarina, and yeah, the swords went all for Lulu, which is really bad, but doesn't actually matter a lot, we can get rid of one of those units now, and of course Tyrannis will revive the unit that is on the left, so that doesn't actually matter because he will not be reviving the healer, and we are able to take him out quite easily after he revives. And for this one we're going to risk it guys. I think that we can kill both the, the water and the wind unit here, but I don't know if we can actually kill the Tessarion. But, but one Tessarion against three units, well unless Violent Runes play really hard on me, then we should be able to heal him. Especially since we actually have Busted who, who's water element and I may defense break him. But yeah, they have the resistance lead, so the detrimental effects won't be landing a lot on him. But my Lucian crit a ton and yeah, this was much easier than expected. And for this one, we're going to Copper Dozer again, that's why we have two Copper Bulldozer teams. We're going to Copper the Chan, we're going to Dozer the Harmonia, and then we're going to kill Theomar 3 on 1. However, I have to improve the runes on my second Bulldozer, because you will see what will happen here. And that was a worst case scenario guys, Harmonia survived by an inch and well, you know, I was actually so lucky to kill her with the Horus, but yeah, this was much closer than it seems. And against this defense we're going to counter them with Leo. They have two Riders, so Leo will actually reduce their damage a lot and of course we also have Jan and the resistance lead, and we will go for Rika here to apply dots and slow on the Beast Riders in case they were to actually kill Leo when they tar target him. So, yeah, that could happen turn one with a couple defense breaks and, you know, a couple procs. Those things can happen. So, yeah, here we're going for Savannah turn one, and yeah, the Ryu didn't do his job and they derped, so that was really good for me and made things much easier. Now we can use the third skill of Rika and we can get rid of them one by one. And I'm going for the Water Striker since his passive is off 
and we were able to turn him so his passive will be off one more turn so we can still get rid of him and that's amazing and we can get healed from Jan as well. Now I decided to go for the Beast Rider with Rika in order to try to proc the, the sleep and additional turn from her skill 1 but it didn't happen so yeah it's okay it doesn't actually matter we have this under control and we landed the provokes so our Leo is safe. And for the final match, they had a full tower of this kind of defense of Ciara Orion and a fire threat. So we are going to run our usual counter, Laika, Lulu, and Perna. And well, guys, as you can see here, we're trying to get rid of Ciara first, and then we will get rid of the, of the Chimera. However, guys, Violent Runes are strong in this one, are really strong in this one. So... This will be much harder than it should be, as you will see, guys. But having Lulu moving first and cleansing is amazing for this team, so we can focus on destroying Ciara. That Ciara is really tanky, so if I didn't proc with Perna, I wouldn't have killed her turn 1. However, it didn't actually matter unless the Orion will have to treat my Lulu with a couple procs, and then Ciara will have placed a bomb on him. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. For the next two weeks I will not be uploading regularly since actually I'm going on holidays. I hope to have fun, but yeah, the weather, I'm going to the coast, I'm going to the sea. So the weather is supposed to be really bad. I already saw the extended weather forecast and well, you know, maybe I do have time to upload. I don't know, so I don't want to promise anything, guys. So yeah, I wish you all the best. And after this, I will show you how we are doing. We are going to actually lose this one, but it will not be that, that bad of a loss. And this is the contribution, guys. Thank you again for watching this, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.